A preliminary examination for a man charged with jury tampering was postponed Thursday. However, Judge Kimberly Boer did listen to arguments from both the prosecution and the defense regarding a motion to quash subpoenas from Acosta County Prosecutor Brian Thede and Assistant Prosecutor Nathan Hall to testify as witnesses. But if you say vote your conscience, there's some consciences out there. I, I don't want voting there for that, their own way. But anyway, that's what my testimony would be. But my testimony isn't relevant. The law is what's relevant. And, and that's what needs to be argued. And so we're in a situation where we have to follow the law, where we should follow the law in regard to this. The law in regard to this is we're not necessary witnesses. The only way that we get to be disqualified, or which happens because we have to testify, is if we're a necessary witness. And to say that they're not necessary witnesses simply because they were not outside the courthouse, uh, I don't follow the logic of that, Your Honor. Uh, it's clear from the police reports, from Detective Erlinson and from Deputy Rogers, Roberts, I'm sorry, that uh, um, Mr. Thede was directing them and telling them to go out and interact with Mr. Wood. Further, our client had pamphlets in his hands and they were taken from him. I don't know if they were for sure, we're not sure who took them at, at what point. Did Mr. Thede's office take them? Did they put themselves in the chain of custody? I don't know those. Are, who directed that the evidence be seized? Um, these are all points that make it very clear that they are necessary witnesses. I would point out, you know, with regard to the suggestion that somehow this is unique, if I'm having contact with officers, I will tell you, I, I wasn't the person who said go out and get it. Uh, I'll, I will tell you that, and, and Officer Roberts, who was the one who went out and get him, his report says the judge told him to go get him. Uh, I, I wasn't there yet. In, in any case, the fact is, in the middle of the night, I'm on the phone with police officers, or in the, in the middle of the day, I'm on the phone with a police officer while he's standing on the porch saying, is, 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 can we break down the door? What's going to happen next? This is what we got. And I mean, it happens all the time. And this is not unique other than it happened to have, take place at the, at the courthouse. Some information was exchanged person to person as opposed to over the phone or by reports or something else. Prosecutors are constantly involved in this sort of stuff. We're not there. We're not seeing the offense. I didn't see the offense. Boer will issue a written opinion on the motion to quash, and defense attorney David Kalman intends to file other motions, including one to dismiss the case. A new preliminary examination date has not been set. For more on the case, pick up a copy of the Friday, December 11th edition of The Pioneer, or visit BigRapidsNews.com.